Hi, in this video, we will be performing the analysis regarding fitting of AI based neural network algorithms in R Studio. And for that, we'll be using a data set which consists of three different variables high diameter and volume. And volume will be our target variable. And in order to perform such kind of analysis, uh, uh, especially neural networks, for that, we need to recall certain kind of libraries like neural net, carrot, and matrices which is very much important uh, as far as the selection criteria are concerned and carrot is required usually for cross validation and so many other procedure tidyverse is a collection of so many uh, libraries and neural network is very uh, this neural net is a very important library for fitting of these neural network algorithms uh, once we have recalled these kind of libraries then the first important step for fitting of any neural network is to do the data standardization or normalization we can use the minimum maximum score for that or we can use the standard uh, normal variate procedure so this is very important uh, since uh, we'll be having a different uh, variables and all the variables might not be uh, measured on the same unit they might be having different kind of units so in order to put them on a common scale we used to have uh, to apply this kind of a procedure which is known as standardization once we have done the data standardization the imp next important step is to apply the cross validation technique where we have to randomly partition the data into uh, training set and the remaining into the testing set then after cross validation the next important step is to fit uh, this neural network algorithm on the train set then we have to find out how many hidden uh, layers we have to choose since this neural network consists of three important layers one is input layer then we have hidden layer where all these iterations and all these magic uh, takes place and uh, where the activation function plays a very important role and uh, we have a third layer which is known as output layer since hidden layer is very important and in traditional neural networks we used to have only two hidden layers but the question here is how many number of neurons we can choose within a hidden layer so that combination has to be done manually then we have to apply the number of repetitions since it is iterative process uh, then we have to fix this value and this is activation function which is the important essence of this uh, neural network whether our problem is regression whether our problem is classification accordingly we have to apply logistic sigmoid or any other activation function then we have to choose the threshold value since it is again an iteration process then we have to choose if the change in error is less than one person then no further iteration can be done so all these combinations we have to uh, apply and we have to execute all these kinds of functions or codes and finally in order to test the reliability in terms of the selection criteria then we have to apply another course and we have to write another more course for that since this is a very cumbersome process and we have to write so many codes for that in order to overcome such kind of uh, uh, coding uh, which requires uh, a lot of uh, which requires a lot of time and uh, uh, sometimes it becomes very hectic and sometimes uh, we are having a very limited time then we have to perform the analysis in a very quicker time or a short duration for that we have a solution we have a library which is available in R which is known as I M N N okay this is a library here it is the description of this library is here it is used for neural networks for predicting volume of forest trees and uh, the arguments are here it has got a default data set which is here this one okay then uh, it uses a combination of hidden uh, neurons the number of hidden neurons in neural it uh, actually by uh, default there are only two layers in these uh, in this library uh, it utilizes a neural network it fits a neural network which consists of two layers only we have to give the option of how many neurons within the layer we can use since uh, in order to choose the number of neurons within uh, the hidden layers for that we have a formula which is given by Xi and Zhang you can google it out 2012 uh, we can uh, use this file this formula where any value within the range of 1 to 10 it can be used now it depends upon how many uh, inputs you have in your layer in your uh, algorithm uh, or your data 
and uh, what is your response variable you are having a single uh, like a regression problem or you have a classification problem but the important thing is that this library is a savior uh, in a way that we don't need to write all these kinds of course for that what we have to do we will simply write say for example anything like we will write model then followed by assignment operator or is equal to then we have to write the default function name that is imnn followed by the name of this data set which is vol then we have to set the range of our neurons within the hidden layer suppose if i will write two here then i will press enter then we have to wait for few seconds since it will take two iterations for that then you can see here first it utilizes our automatic threshold of zero point and we have a neural network plot also and the first important thing is that we have a threshold value of 0 0.01 and the total number of repetitions are uh, repetitions are two the number of steps for the first repetition is uh, 14456 and the error which has occurred or we can say the error in this it is 0 0.05 and it takes a time of 6.3 seconds here you can see uh, we have two inputs height and diameter and within these uh, input and output layer we have two hidden layers and every hidden layer consists of two neurons here so we have a choice here we have to only set the values of neurons and we have two nn plots which are very important uh, since uh, these circles they are known as uh, neurons and these uh, lines these arrows in black arrows and they have some numeric values and these are weights and these blue circles or blue uh, values you can see these are known as bias in case of neural network and these uh, weights are similar to the regression coefficients that we have in uh, traditional or conventional regression equation and they are similar to those intercepts since uh, we have set only the value of uh, number of neurons we don't need to set uh, any kind of a combination regarding the number of hidden layers because uh, for a traditional neural network maximum we can use two number of uh, hidden layers because if we will use more than two then we are moving towards the uh, deep learning then if you will write only model then press enter you can see the hidden neurons in layer first are two like this then uh, the hidden layers in layer two hidden neurons in layer are two then we have the results for r square we have the results for uh, this root mean square we have the results for mean absolute error and we have the results for prediction error rate so we can use any combination of uh, the number of neurons say for example we want uh, different kind of uh, uh, number of neurons in first layer simply we have to choose here the value we will simply write here c the concatenation function like in this way we can simply write c then followed by 2 comma 3 it means in first hidden layer we want only two number of neurons and in second hidden layer we can use uh, we, we want only three number of neurons uh, for that you can use these kind of combination and within one click you can get all the results so i this uh, video is highly recommended to those people who are interested to perform uh, the neural network or the fitting of the neural network utilizing a, this kind of a data set where you have two important variables which are used as explanatory variables like height and diameter and based on this you want to uh, predict or you want to accurately estimate the volume in terms of neural network uh, for them it is highly recommended simply you don't need to do anything you simply need uh, to write the default function then the name of the data set followed by the uh, followed by the number of hidden uh, neurons range that means you have to put the set the range of the neurons within that hidden layer hope this video will be uh, quite helpful and uh, you will learn something from uh, this video. Thank you very much.